An example of the efficiency ratio is the fixed asset turnover ratio. The fixed asset turnover ratio formula is sales divided by net fixed assets. Net fixed assets is the British terminology, whilst the American terminology is the plant, property and equipment net. We get the sales from the income statement and we get the net fixed assets from the balance sheet. Please note that the income statement is a flow account, which means that it is calculated over a year, while the balance sheet is a stock account, which is calculated on a certain day. Since we cannot compare a year to a day, we need to convert a day into a year by getting the average of the two balance sheet items. So, we will use one income statement and two balance sheet items. In summary, anytime you find a financial ratio that includes an item from an income statement, and an item from the balance sheet, you will use the income statement and get the average of the two balance sheet items. So, we can rewrite the fixed asset turnover ratio as sales divided by average net fixed assets. Let's calculate the fixed asset turnover ratio for the year 2018. Sales is equal to $50 million divided by, well, let's look at the balance sheet for the net fixed assets. Please note that 2018 is the first year of operations. Consequently, we do not have the average of the net fixed assets as we do not have the previous year. We have the net fixed assets in the year 2018 of $60 million. So in our formula, we will divide by net fixed assets of $60 million, which is equal to 0 0.83 times. The unit of the fixed asset turnover ratio is times. It means that every dollar of fixed asset the company generates $0.83 of sales. The higher the fixed asset turnover ratio, the better. It measures sales productivity and utilization of fixed assets or property, plant and equipment. Next, let's calculate the fixed asset turnover ratio for the year 2019. Sales in 2019 is equal to $60 million divided by well, let's look at the balance sheet for the average of the net fixed assets in the year 2019 and 2018. We have net fixed assets of $50 million in 2019 and net fixed assets of $60 million in 2018. So, in our formula, we will divide by average net fixed assets of, open bracket, $50 million plus $60 million, close bracket, divided by 2, which is equal 1.09 times. The unit of the fixed asset turnover ratio is times. It means that for every dollar of fixed assets, the company generates $1.09 of sales. The higher the fixed asset turnover ratio, the better. It measures sales productivity and utilization of fixed assets or property, plant and equipment. 